Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting this channel, Evangelical and Time Machine. My name is Jimuel and I am one of the workers of the last days. This message is given to our Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to his end time beloved prophet Benjamin Kusaisen, sent by the messenger angel of God. And the title of this message is, The Antichrist Obama is a Muslim. In this message of God, revelations are given to end time prophet Benjamin Kusaisen, coming from the Almighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in reference to, among other things, the Antichrist, Obama. Hello, very welcome. On January 27, 2015, the following message was brought on word for word by a messenger angel of God to end time prophet Benjamin Kusaisen. Shalom. I greet you in the wonderful name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Verily, just get awake first, spoke the messenger angel of God. Benjamin replied, I heard a soft sound of different bells. Yes, nice, huh? Spoke the messenger angel. My name is Bokison, and I am a messenger angel of God. Verily, let's go to the writing room. Verily, the Antichrist Obama is a Muslim. He himself claims to be a Christian, said the messenger angel of God. Verily, now the serpent was most cunning and was a liar from the beginning. John 8 verse 44. You are of your father, the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and doesn't stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. Attention! When he speaks a lie, he speaks on his own. For he is a liar and its father. Verily, who went in against God's commandments by accepting that which is against nature? And who came up with the Obamacare micro RFID chip which had to be provided to man? Why has the inventor been recorded in Revelation 13, verse 4 and 16? And they worship the dragon because he gave his authority to the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And he causes all, such as in the United States, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, and the free and the slave to be given marks on their right hands or on their foreheads. Verily, who was it who did not intervene in the attacks in order to be not present there in Paris while Netanyahu did express his support there? Verily, the Antichrist keeps remarkably silent when it is about Muslim extremists. Verily, the reason is that the Antichrist himself is a Muslim and is certainly not a Christian. The goal of Obama and his pioneer Pope Francis is that there will emerge one world religion where everything comes together under the leadership of the new world order. And the second step, in addition to this unity of all faiths, together is one world leader the antichrist many countries have already been subjected to the power of obama the muslims will inherit the earth said the antichrist in secret read aloud john 10 verse 8 all who came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep didn't listen to them and verse 10 the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and may have it abundantly. And verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And verse 29, My father who has given them to me is greater than all. 
No one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. John 3 verse 16 to 21. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God didn't send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who doesn't believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the one and the only Son of God. This is the judgment that the light has come into the world and men love the darkness rather than the light. For their works were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light and doesn't come to the light lest his works would be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his works may be revealed, that they have been done in God. John 4, verse 22. You worship that which you don't know. We worship that which we know, for salvation is from the Jews. Verily, and this salvation is only to be found in him, in Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. I'm going now. Ruaka, Yeshu, Shalom, spoke the messenger angel of God and disappeared.